Can you picture a turtle or tortoise without its iconic shell? Probably not, right? However, have you ever wondered if these creatures could survive without their shell, which are often referred to as their homes? Interestingly, for turtles and tortoises, their shell is pivotal for survival and shields them from possible harm. On land, most tortoises carry a massive, arch-shaped shell that is hard as bone, protecting them from weather conditions and predators attempting to steal a morsel from these lumbering beasts. Sea-bound turtles, however, possess a sleek and less curvaceous shell designed to assist their streamlined swimming. While it may seem like evolution led these creatures to initially grow shells for bodily protection, research indicates otherwise. Scientific studies on evolution theorize that turtles developed shells not just for protection, but to enhance their burrowing ability. The rib cage's expansion provided the necessary support for these ancient animals to claw their way through sand. This adaptation reportedly even enabled the turtles' ancestors to flee from the land to the sea, escaping the mass extinction period of the Permian-Triassic era. This is a classic illustration of exaptation, a trait evolved for a particular function that ends up serving another along the evolutionary course. The widened ribs that once aided their ancestors in digging now serve as a protective shield. People commonly think of a turtle shell as the dome visible on its back. However, it comprises two parts and over 50 dermal bones, more than any other order of vertebrates. The carapace is the domed upper shell containing the turtle's ribs and backbones, while the plastron, the belly covering lower shell, includes a few ribs attached to a clavicle, equivalent to a collarbone. A ridge-like bony joint connects these two shell portions, enabling the turtle to retract and protrude from its shell. Given that the shells of turtles and tortoises effectively form their skeleton, fusing their exoskeleton with their spine and ribs, it's impossible to detach the shell from their bodies. Every shell is a perfect and unique fit. Additionally, these creatures possess keratin-based scutes providing an extra defense layer and contributing to their characteristic shell patterns. Interestingly, leatherback sea turtles, true to their name, possess leathery, cartilaginous skin instead of scutes. As these creatures mature, their shell expands proportionally to their bodies. Even though the shells of juveniles might be softer, it still offers much needed protection. Gradually, as the scutes overlap and grow, the shell hardens and becomes more robust. Unlike some reptiles like snakes, frogs, and lobsters, turtles and tortoises do not shed their outer layers, as it has the same growth rate as their skeletal system, except those turtles who might occasionally shed their scutes. Damage to their shell causes these creatures immense pain, akin to shattering a human knee. Shell compromises due to calcium deficiency or insufficient sunlight, causing a lack of vitamin D, can hinder their normal growth, making them susceptible to various diseases. Considering that bone is a living tissue, any structural failure exposes the creature to potential bacterial, fungal, or viral infections, seriously jeopardizing their health. The silver lining, however, is the shell's ability to heal over time, though immediate treatment is always the best option. The remarkable evolutionary journey of turtles and tortoises led them to develop shells tailored to their needs. Among the oldest living animal species, their resilience and intelligence have facilitated their survival for millions of years, a feat that would have been impossible without their shells. Therefore, when you cross paths with a turtle or tortoise tucked within their shell, respect their space. Remember, their shells are essentially their bodies. Prying them open would cause intense physical harm and unnecessary suffering.